Hello, teacher Jackie here. I wanted to share how I do my class prep. I've seen several of uh, videos recently and it's great. It's so great to see all the different ways of how we do class prep. You can see who, who has different backgrounds and different, you know, views and perspectives. And I love it. Mine, I would say is the maximum minimum. <laughs> Excuse me, a little water here. I'm going to share my screen to my uh, page here and I'll show you what I do. Let me go to the screen. All right. So in here is the home page. I'm in my Chrome browser. I'm not into the VIP kit app. So I'm in the Chrome browser. And with that, I go to class, classrooms. Okay. I'm only teaching two classes tomorrow. I got a really light load. So I'm going to hit materials on the first one. That tab's going to pop up. I'm going to hit materials on the second one. And as you can see, they're kind of in reverse order. Some people do them the other way. I keep them this way because I just go from right to left. I don't know why. I click on the tab and I see that I have an assessment too. And then I have another <clears throat> assessment. So it's one of those days, but it's really, really cool. I'm not sure. Let me change my sharing to my document that I go to. Okay. Let me do this. And here we go. I have a text document that I worked on after looking at Ed Nance's um, books, book, actually his first book, and he has an extended one. I hadn't looked at it yet. But what I've done here is you can see MC lesson one. That means, hey, welcome to your new unit. Good job. Lesson five. Hey, here's some projects in your next one. This is a review before lesson six. And lesson six is a UA1. <clears throat> Lesson 11 is same as five. Hey, this is another review and you have a project that we'll do in class. Uh, MC level seven is different. So I have that there. I have trials. This is kind of my very generic. This is a word pad. I know people use different things. So I have a UA1 tomorrow. I'm going to copy my UA1 text. Copy. Let's jump back over to my, I just don't have the, I should have shared them all together. <laughs> All right, so here we are. This is my level, my unit one, excuse me, assessment one. There we go. Click on the feedback template here. Click on edit here. When you click in this box, it automatically populates it with this feedback template. I kind of select all and paste, okay? Thank you for having the middle of the unit assessment for student name with me today. Blank is wonderful. So most of these are he's and she's and their name. Some cases I go, so this is, I evaluated you in five different categories. So I'm gonna go over here and say, well, is it five? Well, it is five, see? One, two, three, four, five. So that stays. Sometimes it's six and a few times it's four. Blank did a blank job, earned a blank score, a perfect score, great score. Uh, points were short in the areas of this and needed help with this. And sometimes I delete that because my students are actually doing much better lately. Uh, thank you for a great class. So I leave it, it's actually pretty good. Now, if this was a review class, I go up here and I replace the blanks and stuff with, you know, you learn this vocabulary. So I'll click and drag and highlight this. And if I copied it and you come down here to paste it, remember it, it, it always populates this darn thing and I don't like it. So I delete it out. I'm going to hit save and share. I like to share it with other people. I'm going to go to most recent. Oh, it's not in there yet. Oh, wait, it said something about bad. So I'm not over the 500 limit. Let's take that feedback thing out again. Save and share. I'm going to pause. Good. Note is shared. There I am. And I'm going to go ahead and like my own post. <laughs> kind of gets you pushed up to the front to help others. Let's jump back over now to my word document or text document again. Wow, it's late. And now I'm going to grab it. Click and drag. And now this one I have my name in it. Sometimes I do my name. Sometimes I don't. Please don't feel pressured if you do or don't put your name there whether you think it's informal or formal and things like that. Let's jump back over to here. All right, this one's assessment two. Here we go, feedback template, edit, click, and these will always be in there. So it just so happens that these two I haven't done before. So next time I ever do this ever again, it'll be here, generic, for the student. I'm ready to go, okay? Copy, paste, the feedback goes very fast. So here we are, feedback template, I'm under the word count here, letter count, character count. Here we are again, that darn feedback. Delete that out. Thank you for having unit assessment for so-and-so today. Wonderful student, I can replace that. Um, instead of this, five categories. Let's go check and look. 
one, two, three, four, five, yay. So there we go. And did a good job and same, pretty much the same thing there in teacher Jacqueline and B. Save it, I'm good to go. Note was successfully shared. Let's go to the recent one and like my own note. So the other thing is this, let me check, student. Now, thankfully these are my regulars. So actually if I push play here, it's probably me <laughs> in the student clip. I don't know if you've ever used them, but you should use them. You see, we're, we're pretty regulars here. And um, again, I can look at what other people said. And maybe I wasn't the last, maybe I wasn't the last teacher taught. So I can go here and look, August 10th, someone else taught him that day. There was a few days we don't, we don't meet up, that happens. Now let's go to the other, go back to material. Student here. Go back to student and let's look. It's Danny. And again, this is probably me. But what's fun is if it's a new student, press play. Listen to how they do their thing. Especially listen to the other teacher. You might find something you like, something you don't like. Um, again, my previous tips and things are in there. Now, what I do, let me show you this. So here we are. We have classrooms here. We have my first. Again, you can flip these your other way, but I'm just used to doing them this way. I've done this for quite a while when I used to teach six classes. I go classroom, materials, 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 feedback, 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 feedback. So it's all lined up and ready. I'll have the VIP kid app open separately. I'll do those and then I come over here, go to feedback, triple click, one, two, three, copy, paste it, and I'm done. It's very quick and easy and it'll be here forever. So I don't have a spreadsheet. I don't have another document. I don't use that feedback panda. I don't, I don't know. I, a lot of this stuff's really advanced for me. So <laughs> I use what um, there is here. Back in the old days when I first started, I used to, I used to fill out class info. I used to do an outline because I needed to know the slides. I, I, I used to do all this stuff. I think maybe, maybe I started this because I used to do the slide numbers and I used to do all these things. But really for me, just a feedback template. Now there's a couple of times people have really good ideas because they're like you know i'm saying the same thing it's my regular but you know what i don't think the parents really read them as much especially depends on who your regular is but you can change it up too you know you know uh, for jamie jamie's reading so much better now when i first started i even say that i'll say that you know jamie used to read so fast now he's reading you know at a good pace where he's pronouncing better he's articulating better his conversation english is getting better you know i do say that stuff so that's where i put the little stars in there for the customization i hope this helps you maybe adjust the way you do your class prep maybe it transforms the way you do your class prep now as far as um rewards i do stars <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of the secondary reward, so hopefully VIP Kid isn't going to dock me for that, but honestly, the parents love it. We have more time to uh, practice our English. I do have props galore around me, but not as much as maybe some. I started to do that, you know, props per lesson and all that, but you know what? I have a turtle and a rabbit that I use from any of my level twos to my level seven classes, maybe not so much really, six and seven. I have a... Um, a thumbs up and a thumbs down. This is my yes and no. This is, you know, I use these a lot. I don't use my smileys so much anymore, but I do have some staple props that work. So lesson planning and feedback. Um, preparation is very quick and easy. Again, the maximum minimum <laughs> is for me. I hope you found one gold nugget in here of some sort. And if you did comment, let me know, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff and share it with me your link or your ideas. I would like to learn more. Um, I'm not perfect. This is really, really the, the bare bones way to prepare for a class. All right, why well, don't I make sure I'm making my money per hour because I used to spend so much outside of class prep that then that money per hour is less. So I have less time, more money. All right, see you later. I love being a teacher. And if you're not, I invite you to join. Click my link. Bye-bye.